Hello, welcome to Adapted Tai Chi. I'm Natalie and I'm Steph. And Tai Chi has got lots of health benefits. You can practice this as often as you feel comfortable with. It's nice and gentle. Don't do it if you're feeling poorly though. If you're doing the DVD or this video, make sure you've got plenty of space. And if you feel like you need some support, make sure you've got something nice and sturdy just to hold on to to keep your balance. We'll start by getting our postures just right. Pop your feet together. Take your toes apart and your heels apart to follow. Just soften those knees and pop your hands up onto your hips. Make sure that your tummy and your bottom are tucked in so that that back's feeling in a nice neutral position. Drop the arms down so they're feeling nice and heavy and relaxed. Make sure those collarbones are feeling nicely lengthened and imagine that you've got a helium balloon attached to the crown of your head, drawing you up nice and tall stretching out through that spine and lengthening the back of the neck. Just tuck the chin in ever so slightly and you're ready to go. Steph will be leading the first half. I'll be sitting down on the ball. If you feel like you can't stand up and you want to do this seated, you can. And if you want to use an exercise ball, please feel free. You can copy what I'm doing along with the movements that Steph's doing as we go along. Okay, so we're going to start off today with waterfall. So for this one, Bringing the arms up nice and softly, just up to shoulder height, and then slowly back down. So for this one, you can do a bit of a rise through your knees as you come up, and then just sink back down. Keep your arms nice and soft. If you're sitting on the ball, you might find that you can roll nicely forward as you bring the arms up slightly back as you come back down. You might even want to add in a bit of a rock forwards and backwards with the feet. Yep. So bringing those arms up again, this time we're going to open them out. Imagine that you're squeezing your shoulder blades together and then slowly let them back down. Again, bring them up. Now this exercise is called spring and autumn. So if you imagine that the leaves are falling, forming on the trees and then slowly falling down. Again, you can do a bit of a rise up through the knees and then sink back down. those arms up again, open them out, hold that position there. This time we're going to transfer your weight into your left leg, turn to look into your right hand and bring your left arm up and over. Then we're going to bring those arms up and over to the other side. So now your weight's all through your right leg, looking into the left hand and we call this painting the rainbow. So the same movement again, up and over. If you're sitting on the ball for this one, try rolling the ball side to side as you twist. You're moving the hips getting that back and those tummy muscles working. Good, 
down, relax those arms back down. Okay, we're going to do separating clouds. So, this time taking your hands up, watch your hands with your eyes, reaching right up and then parting those clouds and bringing your arms back down. So keep watching those hands with your eyes. You're stretching up as high as you can go for this one. We can add a bit of movement if we're sitting on the ball, coming forwards as you scoop up, reaching up and overhead and rolling back slightly as you come back down. One more of those. And relax those arms back down. The next one, Natalie is going to show it from side view. So for this one, arms out in front, okay, just at shoulder height. This time we're going to turn over the left hand, keep looking into that palm and start to draw that arm in just at your waist height. Twist at the waist, keep watching that hand, turn it over and bring the arm back through. So the same again, turning that right hand over. Twist at the waist and bring the arm back through. out in front of you and we're going to go into rowing the boat. So for this one imagine that you're putting down on the oars, so you can do a bit of a bend at your knees, take the arms behind you and bring them back through. Imagine that you're squeezing your shoulder blades together as you take the arms behind and then back through. Again, you can do a bit of a roll of the ball with this one, picking the toes up as you come back, and move forward onto the toes as you come forward. shoulders now. So, taking your left hand, I want you to imagine that you're scooping a ball up through water, twist at the waist and just bring it up to your right shoulder, so just shoulder height, and you're going to turn that hand over and imagine that you're pushing this ball back down through the water. When you get past halfway, start to bring the other hand up. So remember to twist at the waist. If you 
sitting down and you want to make these harder for yourself, just try bringing your feet together, just to reduce the stability that you've got a little bit. Equally, if you're finding that they're a little bit challenging, take those feet a little bit further apart. Last one of those. And return back to the middle. Okay, gazing at the moon now. So I want you to imagine that you're picking up the moon. Again, we're going to twist at the waist, turn round to your right, and you're going to reach up and put that moon up into the sky. And start to bring that back down. Twist at the waist again, and the same again, so reaching up, Okay, last one of those. And bring those arms back down. Pushing with the palm. So, tuck your arms into your waist. Okay, and you're going to take your left hand, twist at the waist, and you're going to start to push away with the palm. Keep that arm quite low down. Then turn that hand over, make a fist, and start to bring the arm back in towards you. Twist at the waist again, and we're going to go to the other side now. Push with that palm, turn over, and bring the arm back in. side and this time we're going to bring our right hand up just in front of our nose okay and we're going to start to twist round again round to the other side keep gazing into the palm and then when you get all the way around to the other side gracefully swap your hands over and start to come back round again Swap over for the last time. 
and turn back round to the middle and relax your arm back down by your side. Well done for finishing the class. Keep practicing Tai Chi and hopefully you'll notice some benefits.